guys, welcome back to my channel. I am hoping that you cannot hear that background noise that is happening outside my house. I believe my neighbor is getting their carpets cleaned or something because they've just been going on for a long, 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 long time. But I really want to film this video, so I'm hoping that you can't really hear it. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys my current makeup routine. Um, it's been pretty much the same since I got back from vacation in August. Um, I have not been wearing foundation, really. Um, I've noticed that it's kind of been breaking my skin out, and I've tried it with different brushes, with just my hands, with a beauty blender. I tried different foundations, and for some reason my skin just does not like foundation lately. So I haven't been wearing it. Um, but other than that, my makeup routine has been very, very quick. Very, very easy and very very simple I just cannot bring myself to deal with some long crazy over-the-top routine because in the winter all I want to do is just snuggle up and not wear any makeup but for the times that I do have to wear makeup or I don't have to but I want to like going to work and all that it is nice to have a quick and easy routine so I'm going to show you guys what I'm using okay so first step whoa 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 is I'm going to use this Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I started using this off of a recommendation from Man Repeller, the blog. Um, some One of the girls who writes there was saying that she has super, super oily skin and that this is the only primer that helps with that. And I have been using this for a few months now and I honestly can tell you that it is like life-changing if you have oily skin usually by the end of the day i'm like a grease ball but with this i don't even have to like blot or touch up or anything so all you do is just press it into your oily parts for me it is around my nose on my cheeks and then the t-zone pretty typical standard area i'm sure but what's super important is that you have to press it in not like swipe it in um swipe it onto your skin it works so much better when you just press it on and i can guarantee you that i will not be an oily mess at the end of the day and it is so so nice especially since i'm like not wearing foundation it's easier to like get rid of the oil but like at the same time it just looks really i just because i'm not i don't have that coverage it just doesn't look great also I don't have to deal with the nasty greasiness. And then I'm just gonna moisturize my lips. I just use an EOS lip balm because that munch and they're super easy. So I'm just gonna rub that in. I usually let the primer sink in a little bit. So I'm going to go in, do my fill in my eyebrows. This is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in Taupe slash Ash ECP03. This is the color that I've been using for a long, long time. And I just used this grayer one, not the brownie one, the gray one. So I'm just gonna go in on a little angled brush. And all I really do is like Fill them in. I might have to zoom in a smidge more so I can actually see what I'm doing. But yeah, so all I really do is just fill them in. Give them a little more definition. Although currently, my this eyebrow, I don't know what it's been doing. I have like a very weird like pointy eyebrow like right here on the end right there. It comes to a weird point. Um... But like right here is pretty flat. So it's just a little bit like strange because on the other eyebrow, I'll show you. Sorry, I'm using this as a mirror, so it's like I'm just staring into the thing into the viewfinder. On this eyebrow, it like has this weird like little dip right here. Oh, well, <laughs> like there's like a little dip right there. You see that where there's like no hair or very minimal hair. And it just looks so weird compared to this one where it's like straight. See, look, this dip. And I don't know how to 
fix it. I'm sure during the moments when I'm not talking, you can really hear. But see, look, there's just that weird dip on that eyebrow, and I hate that. I hate it. It's like, no matter how I fill them in, it just doesn't really work. I don't know, so I'm just gonna deal with it. And I'm sure you wouldn't have noticed unless I pointed it out, but I noticed because it's my face and I stare at it all the time, every day. So, okay, the next step, I'm going to use this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is like a sample that I got in my Sephora Play Box. And it has lasted me so stinking long. I haven't even hit the bottom of the pan yet. Anyways, I really like this bronzer because I feel like it's not too orangey. Because I notice that happens a lot on my skin tone. Because I have like a olivey color um and most bronzers just look too orange we'll see okay <laughs> here's the thing it's looking orange on the camera but i swear it's not in real life so i'm just gonna put put that on like the outside of my face see this looks really orange on camera Maybe I just have really weird eyes and for some reason it doesn't look that orange in real life. I don't know, man. But I swear it's not. Okay, so just very simple like that. Just um, giving myself some color because it is winter and I have no color. It's very, very sad. I don't like that at all. Okay, so this is what I've been doing instead of foundation. I've been using the IT Cosmetics Celebration Illumination Foundation. Oh, there we go. Now you can see it. Um, in the shade Medium. So I do know, you're like, Becca, that's a foundation. You're using it. Um, I don't use it like normal foundation. See, this is what it looks like. It's just a powder. All I do is like spot correct with this. So um, I'll get my little brush. Where is it? Get my little brush and all I do is go over the areas where I have a lot of redness or some spots. Like that. Um, it's kind of hard to tell in this little viewfinder. But usually just like these little spots, like there's a one right there on my nose. And then kind of like around the sides of my nose where I get red. And that's it. Like, that's all I do. Because I found that even if I do this, like, it looks nice when I do a little... Oops. Even when I do just like a wash of this all over my face, it looks nice. It looks really, really good. But my skin just gets itchy and breaks out. So I'm like, not about that life. <laughs> Not about that. Okay, then the next step I use is a highlighter. I have this duo. Let's see, I have this duo from NARS. It's I think it's a hot sand duo, and it has Laguna and hot sand in it, like that. I used to be using Laguna as my bronzer, bronzer, but ever since I used the Chocolate Soleil one, I just like it so much better. So I'm just gonna use a little brush, go into that hot sand highlighter. And I like this one because it's like very nice and highlighty, but it's not too in your face. Which is good for winter because I have no color. <laughs> so I can't be rocking a crazy highlight in the winter because I don't have the tan to deal with it. I don't know. That's just how like my brain works. It's like when I'm tanner, I can handle a more intense highlighter. But when I'm pale, I'm like, no. So it's just like a nice glow. And I really like that one. That's what I've been using recently. And then I haven't really been wearing eyeshadow because, and you'll see this in a little bit, I'm trying to wear more lip colors. And since I have such a very minimalistic um, makeup routine right now, I find that wearing both eyeshadow and lipstick just feels like too much to me. I'm sure it's not, but it just right now it feels like it's just way too much. So the second to last step I'm going to do is you put on mascara. I got this also in my Sephora play box. This is the Blink 
um, mascara amplified this is a tubing mascara which you've heard a lot from um, here I'll zoom in I've heard a lot about it from or just tubing mascaras in general from makeup by Tiffany D and so I was like huh maybe I should try that because if you guys don't know I used to only use waterproof I I mean mascara because um, I would get transfer all the time because I have watery eyes like anytime I smile I have such big cheeks but anytime I smile or like lash it squeezes my eyes and then I get mascara transfer so I have always been using waterproof but then when I heard about this one I was like oh maybe I should try tubing mascara and then the next month it comes in my Sephora play box and I've been obsessed ever since uh, I'm still using the sample that came in my Sephora play box and it's been like a month I want to say and I have already bought a full size of it because I love it so much so what's cool about it is at the end of the night you just use warm water to get it off and it just comes off in like these little tubes so it just like tubes around your lashes and it's so easy to get off because going from waterproof to this like I would use coconut oil every night and I felt like it was just so rough on my lashes that it was just like too much to deal with there you go oh, I should be up here to do it it's so much easier when it's close oh yeah zoom in super zoomed um, and I really like the effect that this mascara gives it. It's not like as good because I was using before this and I always get stuff on my lid. Which is kind of nice that I'm not wearing eyeshadow because then I can just easily get it off. But, um, anyways, the mascara I was using before this was Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof. And that just gives you so much volume and so much length that it's insane. So it's not quite as good as that one, but it's still pretty good. Like, look at my eyelashes. And see, that's another thing is I never leave the house without mascara because I literally look like I'm asleep. Um, I don't think, do I have any more? I have to go grab, I'm gonna go grab a cotton, a Q-tip. And what's cool about this one is it, I'm going to zoom back in so I can clean this up, but um, what's cool about this one is it literally never transfers, so I don't have to deal with that. And the only thing is like, if you wear it for a super, super long time, like um, I'll open some mornings and I always put mascara on because like I said, I look asleep if I don't have mascara on. Um, so I always do mascara, but anyways, so it's from like 3.30 in the morning to, if I wear it all day to like 8, 9, usually I crash re relatively early when I open, um, so 3.30 to 9 p.m., like, and I always nap in between at some point during those days, um, and at the most, sometimes I'll get a little bit of like flakes down here, but it's really like, all you have to do is wipe away and it's gone. So it's really not a big deal. So I am obsessed with tubing mascara now. Okay, and then the last thing, like I said, I'm trying to wear more lip colors because, let me show you. This is my bag of lips, lip products. And I made it, 2016 was supposed to be my year of like trying to wear um, more, what's the word? Trying to wear more lipstick and I didn't do so hot so I'm like really trying now um anyway so one of the things I got from Sephora was this vice like when Urban Decay launched all their um new lipsticks I got this set of 24 and I've already started using some 24 little lipstick pods to try and so I've been using these um I bought a lip brush so the whole reason I didn't use this because I got this in the summer and I haven't used it to like Two weeks ago um was because i didn't have a lip brush so one that has been calling my name now that i have a lip brush is this conspiracy one and is metalized the, that's the um formula so i'm going to just zoom you into my lips because i'm gonna put it on mmm how fun you can see all my little breakouts 
but they're not too bad they're pretty covered oh I didn't even cover this this area look at that anyway so now that I'm super zoomed in now I'm gonna see all this redness and I'm gonna be like I need to do that right now but anyways I'm not super picky about um coverage look at these teethers okay anyway so I wanted to try this one it is like a brown metallic and so I'm gonna try it out okay so I am just going to keep you guys zoomed out oh, no, it's not super nice. I'm just gonna keep you guys zoomed out a little bit more and I'm just gonna do it with a mirror because I'm not skilled enough to do it through you a little viewfinder anyways so I've been doing pretty good about um, wearing lipstick this week <laughs> it is only Wednesday when I'm filming this um, but I find that I don't like pinks on me I don't know what it is I just feel like you don't look good like I like nudes I like browns I'll wear purple orange something about pink not a fan. This one's not bad. This brownie color. What did I say the color was? Conspiracy. So, um, yeah, I can't, oh my gosh, I can't talk while putting this on. Huh. I kept buying lip products from Sephora and Ulta being like, oh, this will encourage me to wear them because I buy them but they've literally just been sitting in my little little bag <laughs> so I am making a conscious effort through the month of December trying to look at this one looks so weird compared to that through the month of December to actually try and wear lipstick I find too, since I work at Starbucks, like it's so fast paced and like I don't have time to touch up. So, like I'll start off with my slits and then halfway through my shift, like my lipstick's gone because I'm like, I ain't got time for this. So I tend to go for more of like a matte finish because I find that those stay on easier than cream. Okay, well, I think that's pretty good. So yeah, that's why I don't like to go too bold or even put anything on my eyes because I find that it just doesn't, doesn't look balanced. Does this just look weird on my lips? I don't know. What do you guys think? How do you feel? I'm just gonna wipe it on my pajama bottoms. Um, I don't know how I feel about this color now. <laughs> now that it's on. Um, but anyways, so yeah, that is my entire makeup routine for the winter. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I really like how minimalistic it is and how easy it is like at the end of the day to just use a makeup wipe and it's like all gone. And another thing is like, since I don't have foundation on, it's so much nicer. Like if syrup gets on my face at work or milk, like it's just and I don't have to worry about having like this spot with no foundation or whatever. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next.